welcome back everyone we are going to be starting our next episode here so last time we went ahead and did the ancient city so we are going to go ahead and jump now into level two the jungle so this is actually the second level that you're supposed to play but it's just habit starting level three plus you do get better weapons so it makes it a little bit more worthwhile makes the second level a little easier compared to the other one So in this level we do go back to that jungle setting with poachers and whatnot. And there we have another mortal wound. Getting to start again. Plenty of poachers hanging around here. I'm not too sure if it was ever really explained in this game why there's just random poachers around. I'm sure there's a reason. So now we have our first bonus section of the of the level, so let's go and get this done. that one as soon as we get back we already got our poachers on us this is gonna be like a step back compared to the last level though so let's keep going now that we have warped back we're back on track That's our new weapon, plasma rifle, which we acquired from the Long Hunter. You do actually get ammo for this weapon from defeating the lo those larger soldiers, as they do drop a clip, health, and a plasma pack. Just getting more extra life force tokens. Build up our reserve of head lives. Each mortal wound that we get seems to increase our health, but since we have a maximum amount, it does increase. It does actually put us at max again. So that's just a quick tip in case you need it. You're running low on health. You got a lot of human enemies. Go and try to take them out. Strangely enough, underwater there was quite a bit of beetle sounds, not too sure why. Go and try to traverse this underwater cave.
It is possible to drown in this game, so let's try to make it out as quickly as we can. Let's go and check to see if there's any other secrets over here. And looks like we actually took the long way. We still made it, so let's make our way back. And there's those beetles that we were hearing underwater earlier. The first key of the level. Sweet. So apart from level one, where you actually get six keys, the following levels do give you only three keys, and they are somewhat mixed match, so... On the last level, we got two keys for level five, and we only got one key for level four, and then we'll be getting vice versa in this level. So as much as I like to play out of order, there's only a certain limit to what I can do. little area get every bonus that we can it's like there's some kind of invisible wall blocking him there we go we're on top of our ammo Explosive shells. And as you see, there's a plasma pack which restores our ammo for the plasma rifle. That's just funny in animation there. We only got help. And there we got our other mortal wound. Just remember that we were actually pretty, pretty drained out of, of any ammo that we had earlier after for that fight with the long hunter so i'm very happy to receive all this ammo now and here we go into another cave no map here so we're just gonna go for it Didn't mean to use that on that beetle. Right. Cave seems to be pretty straightforward. That's all right, one. And how? Bring your way back out. We got another warp portal. Let's try to make it into that one. This is a brand new area. One of the smaller ones could pitch others. It does only give us a full health. But being that we are so high, we don't need it. Let's go ahead and save that for, for later. level definitely is a lot more jungly similar to the first level but 
unfortunately, it does make it a slightly forgettable. Key moment only being really that little, a little village that you run into at the begin, towards the beginning, after the water. Drilling this long climb up. And now we're in this, in this little area. And here we will find, apart from a few enemies, a warp portal and a secret area with our spiritual vulnerability, like in the first level make things go in slow motion and we have our chrono scepter piece and that was in spiritual vulnerability Quite an interesting power up for for games such as this. This is one of the quite quite innovative things of this game. Fortunately, as far as I can recall, it does not pop up in any other games besides this one. Not quite sure. So that tree gives us a hint that there's something down here. Just go and explore down there. Maybe we can get that key. A lot of beetles here. Fortunately, they are an easy kill. Here we find this area. The weird rock. And the level 4 key. So I wish the second one, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So we found two keys so far, and we did find our chrono scepter piece, so we're doing good so far. That area is pretty much the same one that we had just came through earlier. Then we need to jump down. Being bombarded and piloted by all angles here. So I'm gonna try to get the environment to take care of our enemies. Oh a little too close to the edge there. Right, let's get back to where we are. Looks like these guys respawn again. Let's try to avoid the edge. I don't think there's any secrets around here, so. Like the last level, there is those traps. Be ready for those.
Like he only had a clip and some bullets. No worries. Going to get these tokens here. They seem to have caught on to me. These guys are pretty easy kills, so I'm going to try to take them out with a knife. Save some out for later. Very similar area to in the Lost City. Here we got an automatic shotgun and a tech armor. Berlin blocking the way. Get rid of him. We do have another cave, so let's pull up our map. Watch out for all the leapers. Quite the large structure here. Same as the first time we went around, so let's head on out. Looks like we are going in a circle here. Let's go back this way. There's a weapon. I don't believe this will work. Oh, this is like it does. So now we have the minigun. Let us find a larger enemy and show you guys how that works. This it is quite a powerful weapon. Let's fix it back to this one, but I think we're okay on health. We do have armor. This will hold us off for a while. There is another full health there. And as you can see, we weren't able to get it. So, I was correct in not needing it. Definitely can't hear. Definitely can't hear even the drops of water that fall down. Go this way into another cave system. Underwater again, we can only use the knife, so the faster we get out of it, the better. Trying to navigate through all this. Right now, these leapers do have an advantage of speed. I'm going to show you guys how the minigun works here. Quite a lot of ammo and quite a bit of power. So very worthwhile. Make sure to come all the way around here. Grab the key. Don't want to leave this level without it. 
as it is quite a long trick to come back here, being that this is the end of the level. And now we go through here. And these do show which keys you're missing and if you're missing the Chrono Scepter piece. And as you can see, they're all lit up, so we are good to go. Let's go ahead and put the keys in. That's going to be for level 5. This is going to be for level 4. Next time, I will be doing level 4 before level 5. So hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, make sure you, you like and subscribe. Go ahead and put in the comments. See if I missed any secrets or if there's anything else you want to talk about. Let me know. Thanks. See you guys.